six Srontgen. I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest X-ray, so if you're overdue for a checkup, and as for the radiation... Yes, 3.6 Rontgen, which, by the way, is not the equivalent of one chest X-ray, but rather 400 chest X-rays. I think the true number is much, much higher. If I'm right, this fireman was holding the equivalent of four million chest X-rays in his hand. Well, Mr. if there's no place for alarmist hysteria... It's not alarmist if it's a fact. Well, do you know how a nuclear reactor works? No. No. Well, then how will you know what you're looking at? So I'll restate. Tell me how a nuclear reactor works or I'll have one of these soldiers throw you out of the helicopter. Get us directly over the building! Boris, Don't use we my name. directly over I have a nuclear reactor will be dead within a week! Dead! Sir? Get us over that building! Or I'll have you shot! If you fly directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. Have one of your men get as close to the fire as he can. Give him every bit of protection you have, but understand that even with lead shielding, it may not be enough. Then I'll do it myself. It's not through the wrong end. It's 15,000. So it means the core is open. It means the fire we're watching with our own eyes is giving off nearly twice the radiation released by the bomb in Hiroshima. And that's every single hour, hour after hour. 20 hours since the explosion, so 40 bombs worth by now. 48 more tomorrow, and it will not stop. Not in a week, not in a month. It will burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. At least evacuate Pripyat is three kilometers away. That's my decision to make. Then make it. I've been told not to. Is it or is it not your decision? I'm in charge here. This will go much easier if you talk to me about the things you do understand and not about the things you do not understand. Where are you going? I'm going to get you 5,000 tons of sand and borer. I was actually calling about our friend. You know, the one in the country. Oh, yes, of course. I wanted to see how he's doing. It's so hot there right now. Yes, it's extremely hot. But his nephews are flying down. And they always bring cool weather. Oh, which nephews? Simka, who's 14, and little Boris, who's five. Well, that's wonderful. Though children can make you even hotter when they're crawling all over you. Maybe I should visit them. No, they don't want visitors. I'm sorry, um, I have to get back to work. It's very busy right now. Goodbye. They're dropping sand and boron on the fire. Lillian isn't a physicist. Well, he's a medical doctor. If he says it's safe, it's safe. Not if they stay here. We're staying here. Yes, we are. And we'll be dead in five years. Rise as a result of the blanket of sand we dropped. The uranium will melt the sand, creating a kind of lava, which will begin to melt down through the shield below. You have made lava. We're asking for your permission to kill three men. Comrade Legasov, <clears throat> all victories inevitably come at a cost. You'll do it because it must be done. You'll do it because nobody else can. And if you don't, millions will die. If you tell me that's not enough, I won't believe you. This is what has always set our people apart. A thousand years of sacrifice in our veins. And every generation must know its own suffering. I spit on the people who did this. And I cause the price I have to pay. I'm making my peace with it. Now you make yours. And go into that water. Because it must be done. 